When the form's been submitted, the data entered on the form's mapped into the formatted email. Confirmation email is also sent to the contact email on the uh, email address on the form, so the users will get a copy. And here's the shorter ILL staff version. If your library is a member of Libraries Australia Doctel, the request will go to your LAD account. So your library can also set up to receive one of our email alerts that'll tell you when an enhanced request has come into it. Uh, the requests will basically sit there until they're authorised by your Doctel person. Okay, as mentioned previously, so you don't have to be a LAD member to use the enhanced requesting functionality. If your library is not a member of LAD, the request is sent to your library's email address according to the ILRS and the library staff can then email the, the request to the libraries that hold the items. Okay. How to find the outgoing requests? Well, to perform a search on all requests which have been submitted from Libraries Australia Search to Libraries Australia Document Delivery, you need to first go to your request screen and then under your library's role, select requester, untick the display sent messages only box, uh, select your request status of idle and the authorisation status for manual authorisation. When you hit submit, you get your results. So the results list will display and you can select the desired actions and submit your request action. So that this then becomes just the standard ILL request now and you just process it in the usual way. They do need to be actionized, actioned as authorised before they're actually sent out to the other library on the rotor. So once you hit the request button, they'll appear exactly as other libraries, the LAD requests, and you can then manage the selection of libraries on the rotor. So once the request has been submitted, both requesting and responding libraries will notice a slight difference in the way that they display. That's uh, mainly in the notes field and your client field. In the notes field, you've got the additional numbers, which will appear as record ID, titles record ID, authors record ID, and so on. Uh, the conditions of the request, including copyright information and acceptance, is in the note fields, uh, and the patron details go under client name. These differences only are in the display of the information and they won't affect the handling of the request in any way. Now, if you do not wish to authorise an enhanced request, you don't have to. So, if you feel you don't wish to proceed with that request, you can action the request as unauthorised, then you complete it using the complete button and it will disappear from your list of active requests. So, if you wish to register for enhanced requesting and get it turned on for your library, please email the Libraries Australia Help Desk and we can set that up for you. Thank you for your time and your patience. I'll hand it back to Deborah. Okay, thank, thank you, Scotia. All right, if you have any suggestions for improving Libraries Australia document delivery, um, you can raise them through your state user group or send your suggestion through the suggestion form on the Libraries Australia website, which is URLs up there. And LA Doc Doll staff will investigate and they may be able to configure the system to incorporate the suggested improvement, um, as we did say with the changing the time out. Um, if the improvement can't be achieved by a configuration change, there's a formal mechanism available to lodge suggestions for enhancements to the software vendor, OCLC. Libraries Australia is an active member of Vuggins, which is the VDX users group in Australia and New Zealand. And each year, Vuggins calls for enhancement suggestions from its members, which are then voted on, and the pri prioritised list is forwarded to OCLC. And OCLC will then um, advise which enhancements will be included in future releases of the software.
And here's where you can get further information on Libraries Australia document delivery. And also, don't forget to sign up to the Libraries Australia document delivery email list. Um, by subscribing to the list, you can get up-to-date information and news about LA DocDel, you know, information on suspensions, tips and tricks, and system downtime. And you can subscribe to the list by sending an email to Simpa and leaving the subject line blank, blank and putting what's up on the slide as the text of the message. And finally, the LA DocDel team is made up of Debbie Hannington, Anne-Marie Boyd, who just joined Libraries Australia recently, uh, Scotia Ashley, and me. So please feel free to contact us through Libraries Australia Help Desk. Okay, and um, we have time for a few questions. Um, does anybody have any comments on the uh, proposed inter interconnection with WellCat resource sharing or any other questions or comments? Yeah, there's oh. I have a question about the enhanced requesting. Uh, do um, if it's for an article, does that automatically get sent to DocStore or is it possible to ask where you know, if a particular thing could be sent to? Um, you know, if you're not a Libraries Australia... Uh, if you are a Libraries Australia and you don't use DocStore already, is that the default where these items are sent or is that something that we can vary? Sorry. It, um, yeah, it, it depends on um, how you have your record in Life Australia set up. Um, you know, if if you want to use Arial, then you have your location record set up so that um, the Arial address is given, and you don't have Doc Store in in the docs or part of the location record. Okay, thanks. Um, you know, it, it's, it, it, you just use it to, in, in the request, um, you, know, you just organize it to suit your workflow. Yeah. 